What's going on, AT? It's Jerry Smith here, and we're doing Siege, but it's a special one because it's the Makeup Siege Challenge. So if you don't remember, and before I jump in, actually, let me just jump you over there. Bear with me. If you don't recall, a few weeks back, I put out a request for everyone in the community to give me a Siege Challenge, and we decided that the challenge was going to be the trait shuffle so that means i had to use objects with different traits and it was a pain in the butt now we actually have an opportunity to use that again and i have made this deck let's jump over different than the one i led last time just like i promised this is going to be a mixture of bender and zap as my main characters so i'm doing five each and then as far as my objects go we can zoom in and see that i'm doing uh, drunk, fighter, animal, toy, addicted, educated, freaking musical, rich, armed, and art. A modge podge of stuff that we're going to go ahead and try to win. And in the same spirit, I also used five different PCs. So we have drunk, addicted, disguised, armed, and animal. And that's going to be what we're hitting with today. If you want to see the combo map, it's going to look something like this. So, let's just zoom in actually, because this is all you need to see. Here's the combos I'm going to be working with. It is very much a mod podge of things, but I do think that this is going to be strong enough for the win. Overall, Zap is going to be stronger than Bender, and I could have made a full Zap deck, but I wanted to challenge myself and make it fair for you. So, we have a mix of Bender and Zap in here. Well, now let's uh, go ahead and check out our competitors. So we have Sweet DMT, the sweetest guild in the game, like you may know. And of course, I'm biased. I get that, but I'm sure it's true. Uh, and then we have Goonie Nibblers. So Goonie Nibblers is going to be currently attacking. It looks like they've taken a bite out of our Bob's Burgers Island and are definitely going after our toy, as well as a sample of our rich one. Not sure exactly what their plan is, but I do know that on our side, we're going after Bob's Burgers, Futurama, which, go figure, I'm going after, and King of the Hill. The reason this is actually really ideal is because all random traits, but show islands. So this is a perfect kind of collision of things for this makeup challenge. And we're going to be hitting with our like and subscribe deck. Oh, no, I did not mean to do that. Hold on. Let me fix that. I'll be a BRB. Okay, back to normal. Just needed to make sure that that was good and I did not uh, put a improper defense there. Definitely would be bad. So we're back and armed as we should be and we are going back into Futurama. So let's double check our deck, which we are actually using Shapeshifter on this one. It is going to be the right one. We have Zap and Bender and we are hitting. Wish me luck. All right, so the first one we got... Mm, Hmm. Dr. Igor? No, wait. Dr. E or Nope. Well, I'm asking Beth. Well, we both agree that Dr. is definitely there. So we're going to go Dr. Eorge, and I'm going to go back to Dr. Igor. So we have for Dr. Igor nine, or 490 legs and 50 mythics. Let's go ahead and see. It looks like they went out with Zap first slot. Uh, looks like we can do Warhorse or Bibra or, I don't know, Bender is actually pretty strong here. Let's do Cuddles to start, even though it's not a, uh, a Futurama combo. So I wanted to just see what they would be putting out. Looks like we do have, um, it's going to double down. I'll get some gas on it, so at least that will have some longevity. This one will start crazing, but I'm not going to be able to heal up. Uh, I think... Zap is going to be the way to go, and hopefully we can get something paired in slot two that will just support him. So it looks like we get another Zap in their slot two. And we're going to go, I don't know, what will Warhorse do? Uh, we're going to... Uh, let's do Warhorse as far as the PC goes. Get him pumped up do some damage, and then the gas should take him out here. There we go. Okay, good. 
So now we have, oh, that's pretty good. So let's go ahead and do Salad Shooter out. That's going to be a Futurama card. Get the island buff. We're going to get their first hit to the hero. So we'll get some damage here, but we're going to lose out on slot one as well. Looks like they make the combo and they got Billionaire Fry in play. I am going to... I'm going to go ahead and do Assassin Bender. We get some Bomb, and not only that, we get Leech to just go ahead and stay in and try to keep up with the craze that's going in slot 3. But we are probably going to be losing... Oh, we're not going to lose slot 2. We have the uh, Bunker there, so... Or not Bunker, we have... Yeah, no, Bunker's right. Let's... Pump up our slot 2. I like it. We're going to pump up our slot 2. And we're taking out their slot three. So this is actually going to work out really well for us. And we took the win. There we go. I was a little scared. That that thing, that was that was a tough one at the start. But we came out victorious, so I will take the W. Let's go into another round. Uh, looks like we got Ashley S. One, three, two, five. Ashley S. has... 820 legs and 64 mythics starting off with a bender and it looks like i'm only gonna have two options here bender might not be the worst i'm not the biggest fan because it's not the most powerful but strategist staff is pretty good too let's just start with nerd science contest um i like this i think this will work for us so we're gonna go ahead and strategist zap in slot one and start picking away at their captain bender Dang, they're going to try to throw a lot of punch here. That stinks. Um, that's that's probably the best way to go about this. If I can survive in slot one, which hopefully with the leech I can, that will get some bodyguard in play and will help just kind of quiet down everything that's coming at me. Awesome. So we're going to be doing that. We have two leeches going on with Zap. We're going to take down their slot one. Love it. And then we have the bodyguard to just quiet down the bomb and the punch that's coming our way too. Uh, nothing here. I'm interested to make the combo. I know technically I would want the PC, but let's just go blind and uh, throw out blunt bender and see what happens. We're going to take down their slot too as well. More Captain Bender. Still is working out for us because we have the bodyguard. We don't get anything else, so I am going to go with the highest attack. That's going to be Hazmat Leela. Also pumps up our slot one, but it's all going to get hijacked. Slot three. My bad. And we're really well poised here, so... Let's go... That's only going to go to musical. We're going to take the win no matter what, so let's just make the combo. And we'll take the win with our slot... Maybe slot three if we punch right, but most likely slot four. There it is. Almost clean sweep, too. Thank you, Ashley. Okay. Moving into round three, and we get Mr. Nobody. Mr. Nobody is someone with 509 legs and 25 mythics. Let's see, for Dice of Power, we got the Hijack and Cheer, and then we get Cognac Bender. Cognac is probably the way I want to go. So let's do Broad Beer at first, and that's still going to work for me. So I'm going to go for it. We just got to get something complement within slot two, and this should keep us rolling. And, I don't know, is Rich really going to be? Let's go Zap to start and see what else we get. I'm not a huge fan of both the combos that are available to us, um, but I definitely didn't want to do anything else that was going to have Motivate because that would have just caused more issue. Really worried about their slot one because it is causing some damage. Bodyguard and heal. It's going to be too late. We're going to die based on that payback alone. That stinks because that's still four heal. Um, I don't really like my options here. I'd have to get in front for this to matter. I think I have to go Cognac to start and just see how it goes. One left.
knocked on the health. It's a real bummer. First hit to the hero, gonna wanna slot one on right now. It hurts, but we will survive. I think if we play another PC, that will be enough just to do enough damage to get through. So I'm gonna do Warhorse, that will just take the bite that we need and we'll take down their slot one, which is causing all this trouble. What we do after that, I'm not quite sure. Um, I like this because it's cheer all and it's not limited to toy. So we're gonna go ahead and bring on Cognac Bender to uh, help take down slot three. Oh, so close. Sturdy got me. Not too worried about Scream, but I do want to get something heavy out there, so Salad Shooter is going to be the one, and we're gonna take down their slots. Oh, we're winning here. Nice. Thank you, Mr. Nobody. That one, some of these things, I just like so difficult, and I just get so worried as we're going through, because I feel like I'm just one bad move away from losing. It's definitely not easy doing these challenges, especially this one. I hated it last time. Um, let's see here. Nerd Scientist Contest. So this is pretty much... Let's do Science Contest again. It's definitely going to be one that I like. Oof. I don't think we have hijack... Oh, no, Bender. Yeah, Bender gets a hijack. So we're going to take a good amount, but not all of it. And we get some Sturdy in there as well. So... We need some cripple all, and that would be some great moves. What is going to be... Let's do zap to start. All right, so we're going to be able to take down slot one. Perfect. And we're well poised with our slot one as well. What's going to be the best option here? Don't like that. Eh, it's okay. It's a lot of payback. This is going to be the one. Let's go ahead and keep crazing. This is going to be definitely one where we lean on craze to get us through this match. Oh, by the way, before anything else happens, we were looking at uh, what is what is going on here? Hold on. All right, Jack Jekyll is what I think we're going to go with. So there you go, five hundred and six legs and forty nine mythics. If you don't know, I commonly struggle pronouncing names, so if this is new and you think, why, what's wrong with him? Nope, this is just normal. I've asked not to do this, and the community said, you should keep doing it. We like watching you struggle, so here I am. A few, actually, I, I think two people said that I, I didn't have to do it, but there was more voices saying they wanted to see me struggle. So, here we are. We're going to be taking the win with slot one, and we're just going to make any combo we want, which is going to be Cognac. Pump up our slot two. Not that it matters, but ooh, look, it's the strongest now. All right, another win. I'm just gonna say thanks, Jack. I, 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 I've already forgotten. It's it's too difficult. Let's go again. More, more, please. Nitty Don, Nitty Don. Why does that sound so familiar? Nitty Don has 713 legs and 48 mythics. And I have just the eeriest feeling that we used to play together. I don't know why. I, I, I apologize if that's true and I'm, I'm just not recalling, but it feels true. Uh, with this one, i rather do Assassin Bender to start. So we're going to go Bender out first in slot one. Yeah, I still think this is going to be good. I know they have Leech and a lot of heal, but I can keep crazing and just kept it, catch up with them. So that's fine. It is still, still a heavy base attack, though. It's pretty impressive. Uh, let's go with... <sighs> That's right. They make the same combo for Rich and for... Um, let's just do poker winnings. Oh. All right. Well, I have to make the combo. And we get a little bit more heal going to our slot one. But I do not like Bender's Ducklings doing so much in slot two because that thing can definitely uh, take down Champagne if things go wrong. Uh, let's get clone fight. Oh no. Zaps. That's yeah, probably... Let's just do Zap to start. 
really don't like where Bender's Duckling is right now. We're going to be losing our slot too. And they have a pretty heavy offense, but we have enough started up with slot one that that actually got us through. So I'm glad that we took an aggressive approach here. Let's just go ahead and make Clone Fighter and take the win with slot one. Assassin Bender, save the day. Okay. Going around. Uh, this is going to be round... We've done five already, so we're seeing Mr. Nobody again. As a reminder, I think there were 504, 509 legs, 25 mythics. And Walking Man, eh, is that for sure? Okay, Sling tonight, definitely not one I'm too worried about. So can we, is there anything jab? I don't think he has anything that jabs. Um, 39, 43. Let's go ahead and just hit him with the payback. Plus, it's all about you attacking me, so feel free to take as many shots as you want, because it bites back. Uh, with this one, I think we're going to... Ooh, I like uh, Bender at all. So let's go Bender and get his rich combo out there. I'm excited to play this one. Are we going to... No, we're not. A little fasty 40. We take out their slot one with the payback, and we are now better at all. We're going to hit their hero first with slot one. Always feels good when you can start getting through the armor. That's when I start feeling good about my chances of winning a match. And betting it all just gets demolished. Look at that thing. Um, let's just do this and see how it goes but i realize that i should be very concerned because we are going down in slot two betting it all was not <laughs> a good option here okay um this works we're gonna be able to silence them and well besides the uh cheer all that they get We get the skies coming out, and I'm going to go Dice of Power. I think we can keep this going, and we're looking pretty good on our slot two. Firefighter Zoid. All right, this works good because we're going to take the win here with slot three, and now we're going to, well, they took away my, uh, my attack. So let's go ahead and put it back and then still take the win with slot three. There we go. Boom. Thank you, Mr. Nobody. Appreciate you. On to the next one here. We have four more left. Psycho Bill. New player. Psycho Bill is going to be rocking 899. One more. One more. I just want you to get over that threshold. I believe it. Good luck on your next poll, man. Uh, legs and 61 mythics. Let's go ahead and try to deal with this psycho. Uh, fighter is not gonna be great. It's the, like the last one I wanna play here. I mean, technically if he does something crazy, I can at least get some hijack, so. Uh, it looks like it is gonna be a, a fighter deck too, so. I don't know if I really wanna do it. It's not gonna have any advantage to get that out right now. Let's go. Let's go Laser Tag Joe. I know he doesn't get the buff, but he's just a really strong card. Of course it works out that way. All right. Um, let's get Zap out. This is not a good start here. I'm really worried because Assassin Bender can run away super fast on us. We're going to be losing our slot too, and we're going to be in real big danger. And we're just not getting the combos we need to. So this is just very, very unfortunate for us. I need to hang on to Food Addict Lila. It's going to be the only thing that I can hope even gets, like, maybe survives Assassin Bender's next attack after uh, Laser Tag Joe goes down, but we'll just do this. I, I mean, besides just the base attack, there's nothing special about Gut Punch Zap. It's just about a defense. 
We will lose our slot two right now. Take a hit to the hero. And we got Food Attic Wheela. That's going to help clear out their slot one and get rid of Mythic Zap at least. But we are going down again on slot two. It's looking really bad for us. I don't think that this is one we're going to come out of. Psycho Bill might have it in for me. And I think this is well done. All right. Do you think we can survive one more round? No, we're not. We're going to lose uh, because Zap's health is really low. So that's it. Congratulations, Psycho Bill. You took me down. Good game. Okay, so we lost one. Normally there's a two loss rule and then we stop and pivot. I do have uh, permission to already break that because this is doing the siege challenge and obviously it is gonna be a little bit harder, but I also said I was gonna try my best not to lose. So let's not lose any more. All right, so we got a variation of Zoidberg. This special variation of Zoidberg has 653 legs and 41 mythics we have bender that's pretty much it uh walking man is not going to get the base buff but i'm going to play it first just to see if zap does pop up because i like zaps our combo better Ooh, this could be bad i have to make the combo because or else i, I will be completely destroyed and even then this is a Another bad one for me. Just doubling down here. Um, let's go and... Do I want... This is probably going to be a good one. I get the bodyguard and some cripple all. Obviously the bodyguard can apply, but the... I don't know, does the bodyguard apply? It does. Cripple all does not until the next round. And they're going heavy on their payback. This is a good strategy. Um... If I am going to get away from this, I have to get in front of it with PCs. Uh, this is going to be the stronger one, Koniak, so I'm going to go Hazmat over at the end here. And this is kind of my Hail Mary. Lennox City Gambler. I'm going to go Koniak, slot one. More uh, Bodyguard as well as some Motivate, so this is going to help take down male Leela, but they're making the combo 38 that is not going to cut through but i am barely holding on okay so we'll take down their slot two and again i have to just heavy pc to try to hammer through this but i'm going to be losing my slot one as well one punch on on joe and i'm oh man this is terrible Zoidberg, great defense. I absolutely love what you did here. This was just amazingly well built. Another one where I just don't get the, the combos that would have helped me compete right away. Um, you did good, and you're taking the win here. So that's two. Ouch. All right. I think we got two more, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go ahead and hold on to these. Okay, Ashley S again, and we'll just do the reminder. 820 legs, 64 mythics, and we are gonna be starting off with karaoke, or should we go, bet and all is bad. Um, let's just do nibbler on the roof to start. All right, so we get Mythic Zap, but I do like, well, it's only going to be on music cards, so the only thing that's going to be benefit here is the actual punch. It is going to have 35 on the attack, which is good, and we might be able to do enough damage to take down Leela, but it would be a risk. Um, let's just do the long game, go ahead and uh, use the payback to actually get it done, because that will do her in next round when she attacks anyways, as long as she doesn't do that. Still pretty low on the health, so I think we're good. Uh, we are going to drop poker winnings and see what they do next here. We'll take down their slot one. 
Bender makes the combo, and of course we see Captain Bender. Going to do Champagne. We get the bodyguard. That's going to really soften everything that they're doing because the bodyguard is higher than punch and bomb. But of course it does not stack, so it's going to wear away what I do on karaoke. Uh, let's go Bender. All right, a little fasty 40 and dice of power. So we're going to pass that motivate, not get it hijacked. I think this will work. Shield all does absolutely nothing because it's specific to toy. See that from the gold icon. And we are going to, I think this is gonna be the best option here. Are we gonna be able to take it? Yeah, we're gonna be able to take it. We're gonna take it with slot three. There we go. Okay, I think that was Ashley again. Thank you, if so. We got one more left. Let's go ahead and hold it down. I do not want to lose two. Oh, we're up against Zoidberg again. Oh, what was he using? What did he just destroy me with? I already don't remember. This is unfortunate. Um, I felt like it was a craze one, but maybe it was the Captain Benders. I think he was coming at me with craze. I think he had assassin. He was doing an arm deck, so this is probably going to be the best thing to do to start. We're going to go ahead and get Dice of Power out. Do they make the combo? They don't, and it was Tin Man Bender, which is not what I thought it was, and now I feel a little silly. Let's go with Figurine Zap. We at least get the uh, the Sturdy in there. But it's going to definitely come at a cost. This could be another bad one. Uh, they don't have Hijack, so might as well just do this. I can't prop it up anymore, but they can definitely take me out if they punch right. Please don't. 50-50. Oh, God. All right. Oh, that was so close. All right, I'm going to be able to take out their slot one. Thank God. Let's get Zap out there. I'm still a punch away from having that go wrong, though. Oh, I don't take out their slot one. Okay. I misjudged that. Oh, no. Um, and I can't make a combo, so let's go ahead and just pump up our slot two because that payback would absolutely destroy me. We survive, but I'm a punch away on slot two now. Please don't do it. There's a 33.333% chance it would happen, and of course it does. We're going to take out their slot one. This could... I'd rather not do this, actually. It looks like Zap is going to be healthy on his own. Let's put out Bender. And then I can Cognac in slot two, and that will just help uh, bring us the win. Oh, yeah. Feeling a lot better now. This is perfect. All right. We're going to Cognac, and that will do it for us. Taking the win. Slot Un. Zoidberg. Got you on round two, though. Good game. And that does it. That is a siege challenge, and it definitely was. Honestly, I, I never am going to offer that one again. That uh, I don't know. That that was that's those aren't fun. <laughs> I'm I'm glad that we can keep myself challenged, but that is not one that I like building or uh, participating in because the strategy is just all over the place, and you have to play on the fly. So, I hope you enjoyed watching me struggle through those, and congratulations for taking two off uh, to Goonie Nibblers. Wish you the best of luck, but I do think we have you here. I'm just going to be honest. Not a flex, just being honest with the numbers. It's a data thing. So, appreciate it if you've made it this far. Like always, I just ask that you consider liking and or subscribing. It means a lot to me. Catch you in the next video, and uh, best of luck on your seed chits, rumble hits, and y'all take care.